particular pause or worries? Talking about Iowa State. Iowa State. Um, <laughs> yeah, they're they're a really good, you know, defensive uh, uh, club now for sure. I mean, they got um, at every level they got playmakers. They got good length. Um, they're extremely fundamentally sound. Uh, they tackle well in space. You don't see many. You know, uh, you don't see very many bleeding yard, like you don't see a three yard play get, you know, turn into an eight yard play, right? I mean, they, they get them, get them sawed down and, and uh, you know, so again, fundamentally sound, they understand their scheme. Um, they know where they're weak and what you're going to try to do. And, uh, you know, are, are, you know are, are very well coached and prepared. Joe McDonald, probably the toughest assignment that the tackles have had so far. I mean, it's, you know, I mean, we uh, have played a lot of good pass rushers, you know, and, and will in the future. He's um, he, he's definitely up there, you know, so it's going to be a great challenge and and uh, excited for Duff and KT and, and all those guys up front to, uh, you know, to play their butts off. What do you think the reason was for the lull in the second quarter um, uh, on Saturday against Texas Tech? You know, it's it's not just one thing. You know, like, like I've like I've said before, it's uh, you know we we knew they were going to come after us. We knew they were going to be an aggressive defense, and uh, you know we're kind of going back and forth and, and couldn't pop a few things that you know we were trying to get done. And uh, credit to them, they made some plays. And and uh, you know we, we knew we knew we were going to have to score touchdowns in the red zone, you know, and and ultimately did down the stretch to you know to make sure that we needed to. I got to do it in the first quarter. You know, we you know we know that, and and uh, you know, but credit to our guys for hanging in there and, and fighting through a lull, and then being able to settle back down. You know, that's a uh, that's a real thing. Whether it's a possession or turns into three possessions or whatever, uh, you know, everybody we play is 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 going to be good, and you know, and that that's going to be fighting through those uh, highs and lows is is something you got to practice and, and get a feel for too. I think you're five or six games in now to being a play caller and offensive coordinator. Can you describe what areas you think you've learned the most through the five games here this year, including the bowl game last year? Yeah, you know, I think it's uh, um, uh, it did take a while. You know, I mean, I think there's there, there's so many little things. You know, and, and play calling is probably the uh, such a small percentage of that. You know, quite honestly, you know, because there's so many. When you're when you're in that week of prep, decisions that need to be made, projections that need to be made, as far as okay, how are they going to play us out of this formation? You know, because we're a little bit different than other people, and and that's going to change those decisions that you make. And learning how to get ahead of the game, and and continuing to uh, you know make sure that we're in good positions and, and sound things to allow our players to to play fast and, and do their thing. Um, you know, I think. Uh, we're doing some some really good things and 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 some different things that we haven't done, you know, uh, really, you know, for a long long time, if at least since I've been here, and I think trying to learn and, and how to how to handle that, right? You know, I think you know you look at that, you know, those few drives at the end of the first quarter, you know, we were we came out aggressive, you know, we were trying to be aggressive, um, learning how to when to. Keep your foot on the gas and and keep going for the jugular, right? You know, and then then when to hey, let's just settle in and 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 kind of weather, you know, weather the storm a little bit. You know, that's a uh, that's a gut feel thing that you know is all of us from a player standpoint, from a from a coach's standpoint, we're we're getting a feel for and, and becoming uh, more of who we are, you know, through through these different experiences, uh, positive and negative. You guys have had so much success for the most part on first drives in games this season. Um, you know, uh, I, I don't know. That's that, that's a good question. I, I think our players have made plays. You know, I, I mean, shoot, they've, uh, you know, uh, been, been able to get on blocks and, and spring guys loose. And whether it's been Malik, Adrian, you know, whatever or, or whoever it's been, if you know, have, have really made good plays. To make projections, is that also going to be associated with knowing that teams are going to try to take away Adrian's legs eventually? Oh, that's that's absolutely, you know, and it's, um, you know, thankfully again, you know, it's it's not just him, you know, there's other pieces to it, there's other uh, facets to it, but it's again, it's it's being prepared for and having those answers ahead of time for, you know, as best we think and and project what they're going to do. Why is the bubble screen to Philip been a good play for you guys lately? 
Um, you know, again, it's all, all those attachments, you know, are, are something that I think, you know, again, we just got to continue to develop because those are some of those answers, you know, that, uh, you know, can relieve, alleviate stress on a run game depending on, you know, what, what teams are doing. So I think uh, just trying to get our, our guys, obviously, uh, playmakers in space. Um, those are hard blocks out there, you know. I mean, and when it's getting stretched horizontally and, and guys are pursuing the football fast and, and uh, you know, so every, every fast of that. I'll tell you what, the bubble throw is one of the harder throws to make, you know, especially when you're a gun team, which, you know, most people are when you're doing that stuff, is catching that football, depending on how it's spinning, where you catch it, and then ripping it out there, you know, for 25 yards or whatever, 30 yards, is, is uh, all those elements are, are important to have a good attachment game. Well, you spoke a little earlier about how play calling is such a small part of what you do now as offensive coordinator. Can you explain what your role has become as you transition to the offensive coordinator on the recruiting side of things? On the recruiting side of things? You know, I, I think it's, uh, you know, as we become, uh, you know, and, and create a little bit more of a, uh, you know, of an identity is, is just making sure that, uh, you, you know, guys are, are the correct uh, culture fit. You know, they have the right mentality. They're going to be the right, right kind of guys in that locker room that, uh, you know, we're going to care about one another, love football, love competing, uh, love working hard, all of those things. And then, uh, you know, have the right skill sets to fit kind of what we're doing and, and what we're looking, you know, what we're trying to do offensively. So uh, that's definitely obviously more in, uh, more on my mind, you know, than it has been in the past. Iowa State runs the three three five. You guys run the three three five. Is there any kind of advantage for either side there? Uh, we'll find out. You know, I, I think, uh, um, you know, even though they're the same structure, um, they're playing it differently, you know. And so I think picture-wise from our, from our guys' standpoint of knowing who guys are and where they are and, and different things, I think it's uh, obviously there's going to be familiarity on both sides. You know, I think, but again, I really think this, is, this game will come down to who's going to uh, be more fundamentally sound. Um, you know, and, and not make mistakes to hurt themselves, put them behind the sticks, turnovers, all those types of things that, you know, because again, there is, a, there is a high level of familiarity both ways. Is the offensive staff still trying to strike that right balance for the workload for Deuce Vaughn and how much to use DJ Giddens? You know, uh, I think it is, uh, you know, I, I think it's, uh, our mindset again is, is trying to just, uh, get, get our best players in the best position as, as much as possible. Deuce has been very, very, very durable and, uh, you know, is, is wearing well. So uh, I don't think we're trying to temper it too much right right now, but it's something we'll have to have to monitor. Coming from your perspective, Colin, just how good has Adrian been the last two weeks? Uh, I mean, he, he's he, he's been fantastic. I mean, but again, I think it's, uh, it's not all that surprising, you know, uh, quite honestly. I think, again, it's just uh, the culmination of a lot of little things, getting on the same page and, and being more comfortable in the flow, uh, you know, at, at uh, every level of it, you know, and that's myself, that's, you know, each position room and then ultimately finishing it, you know, on, on the field. But I thought, you know, his, um, his preparation is fantastic, his, his mindset, I think his leadership is – um, you know, he's, he's taken, he's stepped up and really, and obviously the play on the field, you know, helps that. But I mean, he's, he's taking a uh, commanding leadership presence and role in the locker room, uh, which is, which is great.